this video is about the truth about earning money on playlist push now this video is both for music fans and for music artists so stick around if you are either one of those because I'm gonna give you some tips on how to make money from listening to music which you can either do as a fan or as an artist so pretty great who am I <laughs> well my name is Cairo I make indie with a Caribbean twist and on this channel I post my own music I post music challenges like trying to learn how to sing my most popular song in Chinese and I also post music marketing tips stuff that I've learned along the way so if any of that sounds interesting please tickle that like button and hug the subscribe button I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers before the end of September and that will help my channel get monetized so I can help to slowly start paying the bills more with music so help me out hit that subscribe button that would mean the world now Let's dive right in and I'm going to show you the truth about earning money online using Playlist Push. Now, what is Playlist Push? So, Playlist Push is a platform that connects artists with curators. And those curators might have Spotify playlists or they might be TikTokers with decent sized followings. So, in this video, I'm going to talk about why it would make sense as a music fan to start building up your Spotify playlist or your TikTok following to the point where you can start getting paid to listen to music because that's your hobby, getting paid for your hobby, not bad. And I'm also gonna talk about why it's beneficial to artists because I'm an artist myself and you know, artists have been bombarded with you know the industry telling us, oh, you need to make Spotify playlists, you need to make Spotify playlists. But it's actually quite a lot of work. But this way, there's a little silver lining at the end of the tunnel because you can create playlists get the followers up, insert some of your own music in those playlists so you get followers that way as well, hopefully gain some new fans, and down the line, monetize it by using a service like Playlist Push or SubmitHub. I made a detailed video all about how to use SubmitHub, so that video is over there. You can check that out after you've watched this one. Okay, so pretty much like I just said, this is the curator page for PlaylistPush.com. If you want to sign up as a curator, I'll put the link down in the description. Now, there are lots of videos online about how to make money listening to music, and a load of them are not up to date or just dodgy. Because what Playlist Push used to require is they used to require 400 followers on your Spotify playlist to be eligible to become a curator. Now, they say to qualify as a curator, you need to own a playlist with real followers. And that's key because what people were doing before is they were buying fake followers. Now, buying fake followers is a terrible idea. If you're an artist, you don't want to buy any fake followers ever. You don't want to do sub for subs. That's all a bad idea because the way all these algorithms work is they look at the people that are really engaging with your stuff. Bots don't engage with anything. So if you have a Spotify playlist of real listeners, your engagement rate is going to be much higher and it's Spotify might push it out to more people that are like those engaged followers. So very important never to pay for bots. Okay. Now if you're trying to become a curator, yeah, the easier way would be to pay for bots. You can buy 5,000 followers pretty straightforward, pretty easily. But Spotify are deleting a lot of those and you actually won't get through the sign up process on Playlist Push with fake followers. Now, before you needed 400 real followers, now you need 1,000 real followers. So that's not easy. I'm not going to wait till the end of the video to tell you, oh, this is an easy way to make money. This is hard. Getting a thousand followers on a playlist is really difficult. So you should only do this if A, you're a music fan and you love making playlists, listening to music, it's part of your hobby and you want to do it regardless of whether you're going to get paid down the line. That's very important. Don't do this to try and make money quickly in a post lockdown world. It's not going to be quick. It's not going to be easy. And you should do this if you are an artist because artists need to make playlists to try and grow their following and to improve their in engagement on Spotify anyway. So it makes sense to start doing the playlist and hopefully down the line, if they can grow it to over a thousand followers, they'll be able to use it as an extra income stream. And we all know that independent musicians need extra income streams. So those are the two reasons why you should be using this. The other 
interesting reason to use playlist push is if you have a strong TikTok following. You need 30,000 real followers on TikTok and you need to get an average of 2,000 views per video that you post. So again, that's pretty tough, but TikTok is a great way to get organic followers and to grow quite quickly. So it's a very interesting way to monetize your TikTok following. So we're looking at the curator section. You can get paid up to $12 per song. You don't get paid $12 per song, you get up to $12 per song. So if you have a smaller following or you don't have such an engaged following, that amount that you get will be less. And you're not just getting paid to listen to the song, you're getting paid to listen to the song and write some feedback. You're getting paid up to $12 per song. That might mean that if your following isn't super strong, you might get one or $2 per song and you still have to write the feedback. So it may not be worthwhile, but there are ways that you can improve your efficiency in doing so. So you could earn a pretty fair amount of money doing this as a side hustle or part-time job. Now, I particularly like these aspects because you're supporting independent artists, you're discovering new music, and like I said before, you should only be doing this if you have a passion for music and would want to be creating playlists of your own accord without any monetary incentive. That is what a lot of the other videos online are not telling you. You need to be in this for the longer haul. Now, I don't have a thousand followers on my playlist yet. It's still going to take me a while to do so. But the number one place for you to grow your followers is the social channel that is strongest for you. So if you are just a music fan and you have a personal Facebook page or a personal Instagram page, those are probably the best places because your friends, your family, they might be interested in this playlist that you're building. They might be interested in the music that you are trying to share with the world. You could be like, oh, this is, the, you know, this is my favorite music to work out to, or this is my favorite hip hop to unwind to after work, or this is my favorite, you know, bedtime mix for getting to sleep quickly. So your friends and family are most likely ones to be interested in what you're doing. After that fact, you can be using other sites like Soundplate. So this is soundplate.com. Again, it's a place that you can submit playlists and you can have artists submit to you and you can listen to their music and decide whether you want to include it on your playlist. Uh, another one that you can use is playlist.net. Again, you can submit a playlist over here and uh, that is a way to try and get your following up. Now, Reddit is also not a bad plan. You can go to Reddit, you join a subreddit like Spotify and you want to be very careful about not spamming your playlist. It has to make sense in the context of Reddit, otherwise people won't upvote it and it's just a waste of your time. So be, be pretty wary when using Reddit. You can also use Facebook groups, right? Facebook groups are pretty helpful in this aspect. But again, a lot of people spam links. You don't want to spam links. If you're a music fan trying to grow your playlist, you don't want to spam the link. If you are an artist, you never want to spam any of your links because that just turns people off. And a lot of algorithms like Facebook's algorithm, when they see a link pointing away from Facebook, they actually promote it less organically. The reach goes down because they don't want people to leave their platform. So that's something very important to remember as well. Now, a little tip that you could do is Focus on the TikTok aspect, right? Because getting 30,000 followers on TikTok, it doesn't seem like such an impossible task nowadays. You know, it is a bit daunting that the US is threatening to ban TikTok, but we'll see what happens with that. But in the meantime, I mean, you know, I posted a silly little, a silly little TikTok of me pushing open a door with my foot because I didn't want to touch the door because of coronavirus. And that got like 300,000 views. So it's, it's mad how a tiny little thing that you put no thought behind can generate quite a lot of views on TikTok. So that's not a bad place to focus your efforts. You could be making three, four times a week, you could be making a TikTok saying, oh, this, you know, these are my top, my top indie songs that are going on the playlist this week. Or these are my top uh, rap songs to listen to while driving, for example. So yeah, and then you can grow a following like that. But again, just put the link in your description and you know you can direct people to the link, but don't be spamming people too much. Engage with people in the comments and that is a sustainable way to try and grow your following on TikTok and therefore become eligible 
to use playlist push to monetize your following. In terms of creating a Spotify playlist, the best bet is to get the Spotify app on your computer. Uh, it's just much easier than using the web player. And you go down here on the side by the home screen, you select new playlist, you choose a name for your playlist. Now, cho by choosing a name and using your description, you want to put in stuff that people are likely to be searching for. So, for example, let's say in my genre, indie rock, maybe I'll type in like indie rock bangers, right? In the description, you want to use keywords. So I would be typing in things like, uh, here are the best indie rock bangers to get the blood flowing. And then you want to put in some big artists that would fit into that genre. Expect massive songs from the likes of Two Door Cinema Club, the killers blah 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 let's say vampire weekend etc mm, by putting these bigger artists in the description people might be searching for those artists and maybe the playlist comes up or they'll get a better idea of what the playlist is about and therefore might be more likely to follow and listen now in terms of choosing an image you want to choose a bespoke image either you can make your own using a website like canva it's pretty straightforward to use something like this or you can use photoshop or something uh, a free version like gimp uh, or you can just go on fiverr fiverr.com is pretty straightforward in terms of getting this stuff done for you so if you're not if you don't have design bones in your body, then you can just type in on Fiverr that you want a Spotify playlist cover. Probably get a few, ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, stuff's popped up straight away, basically. Here, I will create a Spotify playlist cover for as little as four pounds or five dollars. So it's pretty cheap. If you're not design oriented, just go to Fiverr and get someone else to do it for you. It's probably the simplest way. With Playlist Push, they're looking at a thousand followers per playlist. So that's something key as well. It doesn't necessarily help if you have five playlists of 200 followers. It's more that they want to see a large following on a specific playlist. You also need to have a minimum of 30 active monthly listeners per playlist and a minimum of 1% monthly active listeners. That means if you have a playlist of 100,000 followers, you need 1,000 people to be listening to that playlist every month to make sure that you meet those requirements. Also, they're very strict on the fake followers stuff now, so you can't have any of that stuff going on. No buying of followers, like I mentioned before. You gotta use organic strategies to get those followers. They also don't accept any of the following playlists. So you can't have movie playlists or soundtrack playlists. You can't keep changing the name of the playlist to attract more followers, that's not allowed. You can't have playlists for a specific album or song because that's again breaching the terms and conditions. And you can't have playlists focused on a decade. So unfortunately you can't do like 80s playlists or 90s playlists because that doesn't really make sense. Because if you think about it, playlists push those are newer artists trying to get out there. So if people are listening to a playlist for the 80s, they probably wouldn't expect a band from 2020 to be on their playlist. Okay, so to summarize, this is not the best way to earn passive income. <laughs> this should only be done if you have a passion for music and if you would want to create playlists for free. That's basically the mentality you should go into it. You should go into it thinking, I'm gonna create playlists for free and then if they get to over a thousand followers, then I can monetize it. That's a better mindset, I think. Or if you're an artist, you should be doing it to try and grow your following and try and get more fans into your ecosystem and then hopefully monetize it further down the line. And if you're interested in TikTok, I guess getting to 30,000 followers on TikTok is not such a crazy idea. You need to get to 30,000 followers and then an average of 2,000 views per video. Now, if you are going the TikTok route, my biggest tip is to be very focused. Don't do all kinds of different content. Stick to one thing. My problem with TikTok is that I was inconsistent with the days that I was posting, the times that I was posting, 
and the content I was posting. Sometimes I'd post a singing video, sometimes I post a random video or a lifestyle video or a how-to video. And it's confusing for the algorithm. So you need to stick to what you decide to do. Now, let me know in the comments if you are a music fan planning to make some playlists, if you are an artist planning to make some playlists, or if you are a TikToker trying to monetize your following or you wanna get into it. And uh, yeah, it's a great way to make a little bit of money from reviewing music and by helping out smaller bands grow. You do have to remember, write a little bit of feedback for every song. So it's not like you can listen to 30, 40 songs in an hour, but it is a cool way to grow your following, monetize your following and make a little bit of extra money. So I pop the links down below if you wanna join and become a curator. Also, if you're an artist, I pop the link down below and you can get 7.5% discount on your first campaign if you're trying to pitch to creators in the future. Make sure you tickle that like button and hug that subscribe button and make videos like this every Friday. And yeah, I need your help to get to a thousand subscribers because only really at that level does YouTube start pushing these videos out to more people because then they run ads on them and that's how they make money. So a subscribe would be very helpful. I'll see you in the next video and you can check out some other cool videos and subscribe over here in just a second. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.